Obviously, a lot of people are going to get out and put up their lights. I think they should have done it yesterday in the morning before Thanksgiving really rolled around. Um, but a big game this weekend up north. A big game up north. And so maybe, you know, your holiday displays are in tribute to not only the Cleveland Browns, but maybe it is the Buckeyes. And that's where we're going to start things off because Ann Arbor is not that far away. The team up north, if you are traveling to see the big uh, rivalry and matchup as kickoff is at noon tomorrow. Temperatures are going to be in the 30s up there, a little cooler. But we're not too far off from that. We're also going to be stuck in the clouds, a peak of sunshine here and there. So the layers are going to help you if you're thinking about today and our high temperature. It says 43 on your screen, which typical for this time of the year is about 48. We were well below that through the afternoon. If you're looking at the time frame at which that was achieved, it was at about 1:15 in the morning. We had a cold front swing on through late last night, but the cold air actually has to play a little catch up game. So the last 20 hours in Cleveland specifically, well, again, we started the day just for a few hours in the low 40s and we've been falling ever since we've spent the majority of today in the 30s like I told you we were going to yesterday and it's all because of that cold front so the colder air is really surging all the way down to some of the central plain states and even just the northern part of Texas too so some folks that don't typically experience this chill this time of the year are even getting in on some of the action right now temperatures though locally still right around 30 degrees it's 28 in Mansfield and it feels like 21. It feels like 25. That's the temperature in blue on your screen in Ashtabula. It feels like 27 right now in Dover. Expect that to kind of hold steady as we go through the overnight. Temperatures are going to feel sub freezing all the way until we hit 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. We will be a little warmer for Small Business Saturday. We'll start the day in the 30s, make it close to 40 degrees. If you're hoping for a lot of sunshine, it's not in your Saturday forecast, but there's more sunshine for Saturday than there is for your Sunday. So around 40 is the best that we're going to do as we go closer and closer to sunset. Of course, those temperatures are going to drop on off and then we're back in the 30s. Weekend in a nutshell and to kind of give you an overview, 41 degrees for your Saturday, partly to mostly cloudy conditions expected. And then by Sunday, we've got our next big weather maker on the way. We're likely going to have rainfall arrive by about midday, but because temperatures do cool off as we go through the overnight, we could see some mixing and possibly a snowflake or two. And I think those best chances will be found on Monday and Tuesday. So cloudier for your Saturday and your national time, our big picture forecast. The division of cold and warm air is going to really paint the scape through the central plain states and then even through the Great Lakes as we head to the day on Sunday. So the Ohio River Valley, if you're expected to travel or anticipating loved ones to arrive back in town, there may be some delays, not only from uh, driving, but also at area airports too. By Monday, we've got lingering lake effect. Exact totals are TBD, but our best chances are now looking east of the Cleveland metro area. I wouldn't rule out a few inches from Monday to Tuesday. Close View for you. I've zoomed you ahead at least a little bit to Sunday. This is eight in the morning. We start with clouds. That rain starts to knock on our doorstep. It'll move from west to east as we go from lunchtime onward, and we're basically in the rain. And it's going to blanket us about uh, late Sunday. So if you're heating up leftovers again Sunday night into Monday, it's going to be a wet one and things get much colder. We've got a, put, a punch of cold air and we've got a bunch of it where that came from. I was trying to combine my words there. We're in the 30s for Monday and Tuesday. We will have some wind around too. So anticipate that 32 degrees actual high temperature on Tuesday to feel much, much cooler, Neil. Yeah, not looking forward to that one so much, Peyton, but no, thank you. Either. Appreciate it.